What's up, y'all? This is Hossein Nasser from iGeometry, and today we're gonna learn how to quickly create a line feature. So, creating line features, uh, the reason you want to create lines in the first place is to represent uh, anything that are lines in real life, like things like rivers, roads, uh, electric lines you know uh guys like uh pole the pole guy the span guys uh, a lot of stuff are lines so it's useful to know how to create lines basically in the gis so to do that obviously you need to to know how to create points and i'm going to reference the episode that we did and to know how to create points using our objects so Today we'll learn two approaches to uh, tackle this problem, to create a line. So the first one is really simple, basically using the user input, uh, something called rubber band, really useful tool. The second one is basically we're going to have a bunch of points and we're going to construct a line out of it and then we persist it to a geodatabase. So, so let's get to it. So here I have... A project I, that I created this is an add-in project again we have done this before so we're not gonna go through it so we created a new project and this is a tool so this is this uh, tool interacts with the map right so what you want to do is basically we want to override the mouse down uh, event. So the moment you click, I hope you're seeing uh, some sort of a circle here. So I'm now, now I'm now holding my mouse, and that event will be called. And the moment I release it, mouse up will be called. So that's the difference between mouse down and mouse up. Okay, mouse down is really critical here to do to per, to achieve what we're about to do here. So what we want to do is basically we create something called I rubber band. Let's just call it the rubber, and then say new rubber line. The moment you do that, you create this object, and then you just do p rubber dot track new, and then you gotta pass it the screen display, which we did many many times, right? So this is just the imx document pmx doc equal arcmap dot application dot document as imx doc, and then you do PMX doc that active view that screen display and then you just pass a null for symbol the symbol is properties to change the uh, the color and the width of the line being drawn that not the actual line being persists just for visualization that's how the tracker draws it as you basically move on the map so this will baby here returns something called iGeometry. How about that? So it returns something. Are we recording? Yes, we are. All right. It returns a geometry, and it's basically the line that we drew. So I'm going to just create some, some object here called polyline, and then set that to this. Obviously, C Sharp will always complain, so you have to cast it. All right. So once we have the object, we do all the fun we basically create a feature so we did this so many time right so I'm not gonna go through this process or you know what let's just go through it it's really easy right so I want to save time here by basically typing the code that persist uh, the feature we did that in the uh, create point feature so I'm gonna do it again so basically this is getting the data set uh, creating a feature and then storing the geometry right so let's do that real quick all right so we just authored this code that does the editing or creating the feature into the per persisting the feature to the geo database so we know all this code we have written so many times I'm gonna refer to the point geometry 
video here so you can know the description of that so we pull the layer the first layer we're assuming everything is the first layer here we get the workspace start editing start the operation create a feature in this case that layer will be a line feature i went ahead and created a, fe a line feature class prepared everything so we save time we want this video to be short as short as possible and i have to keep talking it will not be short <laughs> so create a feature feature the shape that's the most important thing is to set the shape to be the polyline you just created and once you do that you store and then you save and you refresh so you can see your edit let's go ahead and compile this code and try it so i have here the I geometry document all right and in this document I created a line feature class and added it to the map right so and I already went ahead and dragged and that's the tool that's our tool here create line feature so the moment I click here and then I click on the mouse see now I can start drawing my line using this. This is the rubber band tool. So this is really useful. So you can do something like that. The moment you double click, it gets the geometry and persist it into the feature class. So that's that's really cool, right? So so that's one way to create a line. The second way is basically to use a set of points to create the line so let's go ahead and just delete that feature we just created and save edits close and now I went ahead and defined three points randomly on the map and then I copied them here that's the text file you saw earlier so these are the points that I define again we did that before so these are just simple points I took from the map and I use the identify tool to identify these point so once I did that I that these are my three points. I want to create a line out of these three points so the reason you want to do this is basically you have some sort of a file or you're you're reading a stream of point and you want to create a line out of this so that's again it's kind of straightforward so I want to go ahead and commit comment that line right and instead I'll do this I create a, something called a point collection so point collection equal new polyline I know it just sounds strange but it works you can set a polyline in a point collection because a polyline technically is a point collection so you can do that right so and let's go ahead and copy these points that I just created these are just point one point two point three right so three points and you you will know what I you about to guess what I'm gonna do next right so I will do do the do god damn it all right, so add this guy. I can't type anymore. All right, copy paste. And then you do that three, and how about that? That's it. Believe it or not, you do this, and all you have to do is basically replace you. That's your polyline right there. Obviously, it complains. You do that. You cast it build let's close and try again let's build again just in case just in case again this is our github you can go you guys can fork this and by the way last time i said don't change it i didn't mean don't change of course of course once you fork it you can do all every anything you mean right i mean anything you want really with this instant it's your repo I mean you don't have permission to post back or sync back or commit to this repo anyway so also 
I was looking at the, listening to the video. What? How? They can't change it. What are you talking about? All right, so let's try that. So the moment I click here, again, the event is on mouse down. So whatever will be executed is on mouse down. So let's see if this works. Oh, it did. So that was point one. That was point two. That was point three. Go ahead, open, and that is how you create lines. I don't know how long this took, but I hope this was useful, guys. Let me know in the comment section. Please leave a like, subscribe, share this video, and really appreciate that. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.